my name is Mike Bell and I work uh, uh, with a company called Anuktuk. My company is Anuktuk Management Consultants and I work uh, primarily in the Arctic. I first got involved with Thomas because, uh, as you know, I lived with him in the monastery years ago and reconnected with him some years later. And uh, I was trying to work in the north in the Arctic uh, with the Inuit in particular, and I had all my management theories and they were all falling apart. And I also found myself competing with elders. I would go up and talk about uh, social services and correction services and mental health services, and they kept saying things like, uh, learn from the land. And I thought what they were saying, and I was listening to an interpreter, was interesting, but not really relevant to what we were dealing with. And then two things happened at the same time. Uh, my management theories crumbled because they didn't work in a cross-cultural environment. And then uh, the second thing that happened was I was competing with the elders and I was kind of going through a vocational crisis, wondering if I really wanted to do this kind of work. And at that point I read, uh, I was get back to reading Thomas's book and I saw him say, uh, uh, the earth is the only text without a context. And I was looking for contexts. And then shortly after that, um, he was talking about a community of subjects, not a collection of objects. And I just decided that basically the elders were right all along. And uh, we really have to organize our organizations and deal with service systems the way the earth organizes itself. I understand Earth jurisprudence really is a, a system of, uh, that defines relationships. It's, a, it's not a legal issue, it's a cosmological issue. And the cosmology deals with the essential questions of uh, how did the Earth develop, how did the human develop, and what was the relationship between the two. And I think when we look at Earth jurisprudence, we see it as a way of wisdom that we're communicating and organizing around certain themes and uh, basic to this is the concept that uh, for me that the earth is living that there are a set of rules and laws there and Thomas's work has been extremely helpful because as he said at the time of his own childhood experience and to me it's kind of like a shamanic vision that whatever is good for the earth is good whatever isn't good for the earth isn't good and he said it's that straight simple well, straightforward the next thing he said was this is universal it applies to governance to religion to education and to environment to these types of things so i see it basically as a context that provides criteria against which we can measure our own legal systems and what we're basically doing